Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the, I promise you guys, the last video I will release today. I thought At Home Comic Con 2021 was officially done after the panel, but I found secret reveals on WWE.com that was not shown off during the panel. Kicking us off is the Fiend Alexa Bliss. This is an early prototype figure. Um, it's just gray hats. We had, we saw four of them earlier. Um, like Karrion Cross, um, I forget the other people. Karrion Cross, Burnt Fiend, uh, Raquel Gonzalez, and now we see Alexa Bliss. So I don't know why these weren't shut off earlier, but the Fiend Alexa Bliss, I need this figure 100%. Hopefully we see Fiend and Burnt Fiend and Bliss in the same line. Next up is the Survivor Series 2021 Elites. Last year's Survivor Series set consisted of John Morrison, Drew McIntyre, Samoa Joe, and Kane. This year consists of Bret Hart, Bailey, Hulk Hogan, and Keith Lee. I showed this off, or I, this was leaked a while back, and I showed it off on the YouTube channel in an older video. All the leaks that I come across, I make a video on for you guys to see. And this one, I, I was spot on. So we see Bret Hart come with sunglasses, a pink and black attire with orange around, like an orange outline on it, a pink steel chair. Bailey from your her heel gimmick when she cut her hair and had that weird headpiece and then the SmackDown Women's title. Hulk Hogan with a rippable t-shirt. I think that's really cool. Looks like it's just a little Velcro piece. And then Keith Lee. Keith Lee's hair looks odd in this picture. Hopefully it's not like that weird on the actual figure, but it looks odd right now. Um, definitely a good set. Better than last year's in my opinion. I think it's better than last year's. Next up is a J uh, Jey Uso figure. He comes with a long beard, a little. His arms painted. I, I guess it's supposed to be an elbow pad that's white, but it's painted, so that's that's odd. Uh, white tights, and then I guess it's supposed to be like a little jewelry piece for his neck. I don't ever remember seeing him wear this in general right here, so definitely odd. And there's his head scan. His eyes look off, so that's that's weird as well. Definitely excited for this figure though. Next up is Reckoning. Um, she comes with rolled up pants, which uh, we, have, we don't really see rolled up pants in Mattel figures. So that's definitely cool. Um, and there she comes with her mask that she wore in um, Retribution. Um, she's now just gonna be by, go by Mia Yim. Or no, she's gonna go by her old name. I forget what her old name was. Just Reckoning's built into my head now. Um, but there's her mask, so we'll see her hopefully soon on SmackDown. I know she's going to SmackDown with Shane Thorne. Next up is Randy Orton from WrestleMania 37. As soon as I re as soon as I saw him come out in WrestleMania 37, I texted one of my friends and I was like, "Dude, I need a figure of this." And they gave it to us. Um, he's got red and white on his attire, RKO knee pads, a steel chair. That he comes with sunglasses, and I do not remember him wearing sunglasses at WrestleMania, so, like, or goggles, these look like, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember him wearing this, so, like, what is it supposed to be? Am I, like, missing something? Is my memory wrong, or what? Because this is from WrestleMania 37, but I don't know, like, why he's coming with these. His skin looks great on this, though. Next up is a Mustafa Ali figure. He comes with a soft goods t-shirt from Retribution. On his attire, he's got, like, the K and the flag. I'm like, the K and, like, the lines, and he's got a flag on his attire as well. And he comes with a light-up, or not light-up, but it comes with a mask. Testing for this one looks fantastic as well. Next up is Bronson Reed. This attire is amazing. I love this attire so much. He's got, like, the skull and the bones with the X on his attire. Uh, let's see, we got yellow, red, purple, black. He's got his tattoo there, and then his head scan looks good as well. A very mean looking face. And hands where he's like grabbing the air. And then we have a big boss man figure. He comes with a, I forget what it's called, a nightstick, I think. Um, handcuffs, a little hat up there. And then we see a face scan of him, which looks, eh, it looks on, it looks decent. And then, next up, Drew McIntyre. He comes with a sword. Super sick accessory. I hope we see an alternate edition or something, or I might just make one myself that you can put the sword in, how he does in his entrance. He comes with a kilt right there. 
I don't know what these are supposed to be. Maybe extra knee pads or something. But he already has knee pads on. So I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. Maybe they're just like knight armor or something. Not too sure. But the head scan for this looks 10 out of 10. Maybe his best head scan that we've ever seen. Then we see a Damien Priestley with a jacket. Purple tights with gray on them. And then a head scan right there, which looks amazing. And then I think we have like one or two more. Uh, where is it at? We saw it Bobby Lashley, but I'm not seeing it, huh? I put it in here, I'm pretty sure. No, I didn't actually. Okay. Well, we saw a Bobby Lashley figure that was released as well from the Hurt Business with the WWE title on it. So we we'll definitely see that as well. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I do have for you guys for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. Lots and lots of figures were released today. Super excited for all of them. And I'll see you guys next time.